Hey there, it's Johnny J here, and welcome to another episode of the 3C Show. And as always, I'm super pumped to be here. This is the show where we talk about landscape and nature photography. And today I had a question come in from the Team 3CX community. That's a, you know, a premium community I run for three colors where we're helping each other with our photography. We're getting new masterclasses every month and we're, you know, got assignments where I give personalized feedback and really hold your hand through the journey of learning landscape and nature photography. Anyway, let's get into this question. By the way, if you want to find out more there'll be an email address below this video please send me an email and we can have a chat about um, the community and see if it's right for you all right quite a quick one today we've got a quick tip this is a you know on computer tip today so we're going to jump over here to the screen but um basically the the tip is you know what is the best folder structure to store your photos okay and you may be thinking johnny uh hmm. How is that important? Well, it is really important, all right? There's a, there's a way where you have a single master folder and you break your folders down into years where, and I'll show you in a minute on the computer how I do it, where it really is the best way to store your photos. Um, if you're using things like Camera Raw or Lightroom or any other processing software, you know, what's beautiful about using that software to manage your photos is it uses the native built-in apps, whether you're on Windows or a Mac, um, sorry, built-in folders, whether you're on Windows or a Mac, and that's, that's just awesome because it means you know you can move your photos around and, uh, and nothing you know nothing really changes from the native folder structure which is really really nice all right let's jump over to the computer and see what we've got here all right so as I mentioned the important thing is to have a single master folder you know master photos folder or something equivalent and under that folder is where you want to have all your other folders okay and this is how I do it not saying um, this is the perfect structure but and you can modify anything underneath this initial folder that, that suits your shooting style you know maybe you're shooting for clients a lot so you want to break things down by year and then by you know different shoot names it's totally up to you but as a landscape and nature photographer this is how I like to break it down okay so for instance I would have my master fo master photos okay and inside of there I would have another photo for 20 if I can type right 2019 okay and then I'd also create another one called 2020 and of course it wouldn't be over there it'd be under here and then when we get to 2021 you know I just create a new folder called 2021 and I just keep going by year like that okay and then inside of those folders I might pick a location so for instance you know obviously I shoot a lot in my local location here so I could create a new folder here called Port Stevens and that's my local area okay and you might you might take a trip to um, Thailand so so maybe you have a folder called Thailand in here. And this is what I would do, you know, maybe that year, I know we're not traveling that much at the moment, or maybe, you know, say you're from the States and you take a trip regularly to, to other states around you, the United States, maybe you could have the states lift, listed out at this level, okay? And this is where, you know, after you get the year level, realistically, the next level down is, is totally up to you how you want to store your photos okay and then from this level you know maybe I want to break it down into a shoot name you know some people like to have the date of the shoot as the next file structure for me I like to have locations in that area okay because I shoot in Port Stevens a lot you know um, I would have different locations in this area so for me you know I might even have a national parks uh, name at this level or I might have you know a beaches or something that's relevant to different areas I shoot in this location okay and that just really helps keep everything nice and structured and broken down and then so for instance an example here I might have one you know if I can type on my beach and I can't type so that's okay <laughs> that's funny. and then I might have at this level I'm also might have you know uh, Tom Marie National Park okay and then inside of these folders is where I would keep my photos, okay? So it's totally up to you how many layers of file structure that you break down, but basically the key is to have everything in one master file, one master photos folder, and then under that you have a year, and then under that it's really up to you how you want to manage things. You know, some people just go three levels deep in their folder structure and they'll just have Port Stevens and they'll just copy all their photos here. Some people will have locations at that point, just like I've done here, or some people will have a date they did the shoot, okay, and then you have all the dates 
rates for, for Port Stephens for 2020 under that year, okay? And that's how I like to have my file structure. And the reason why this is important, do you know, it's because I can now take this master photos folder and I can move it to any hard drive, I can move it to any location, and I know that I'm capturing all my photos, okay? And to be honest with you, hard drives are so cheap these days, you know, there's really no excuse to have one that doesn't fit all your photos on there, okay? Um, if you run into that situation where you're running out of hard drive space and you need to buy and you can't afford to buy a massive drive that's going to fit everything on there, um, then all your photos on there from the previous years. And then of course you can break them down. You can have master photos one, master photos two, and then inside of that you break your years up and you may break those across separate drives. But um, most people, you know, you can get a four terabyte drive really, really cheap now and that's a hell of a lot of storage. So um, yeah, so that's, that's just, um, that's how I do it. Uh, I think this is the easiest way to manage things and knowing that I can grab that one folder move it to another location and and uh, and know that you know I've captured I've moved all my photos in one go is super 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 satisfying and it's also super important for managing your backups and things as well because you know what we spend so much time traveling and so much time money spending on gear and and time trying to capture that aw awesome light the worst thing to do is you know to, to lose photos or have a structure where you can't find things when you need them okay so I've been there done that and uh, over the years this is how I found is the best way to structure my photos. All right guys, that's it for this one. Like I said, it was just a quick tip, answering a question from the three, Team 3CX community, um, of the premium landscape photography community. As I mentioned, um, there's an email address below. Please pop me an email, send me an email, and we can have a chat about it if you're interested in finding out more. And uh, that's it for this one, just a nice quick one. So uh, that's it for Jody J, and we'll see you next time. Peace.